Turn it off? Oh. Yes. For, for what? Says, Turn it off now. Sir. Turn it off now. Regarding an incident that happened yesterday okay. and see if the mayor's office had any comment. There is no comments right now. They are aware of it and it is being looked into. That's all that I know of. Can I just get your name and badge number first? Why? You call me, so it's a problem. You're a law enforcement officer. Completely ridiculous. Because he's a constable, if I pushed you down the stairs right now, I'd be arrested, wouldn't I? Do the laws not affect constables? Are they immune from, from the law? Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. We are back at the scene of the crime. The Baton Rouge City Hall here. We are here today to not only peacefully exercise our First Amendment right, to film in public and publicly accessible areas, but to try and get some accountability, some justice. I was pushed down the stairs right in front of you yesterday by two constables for the city of Baton Rouge, and there has been no justice, no accountability. So we're here to speak with the mayor's office, the district attorney, the sheriff's office, the constables, whoever we can speak to to try and get some justice here. I know you all are angered. I appreciate the comments on the original video. You guys know I'm going to do whatever I can to try and hold them accountable. Let's see what happens. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so the district attorney is on the fifth floor. So that's where we'll be going. Try and get some accountability here. So this is the office of the district attorney. It says to check in with the receptionist across the hall. So that's what we'll do. See if we can speak to somebody regarding pressing criminal charges against the two constables. That's the district attorney for Baton Rouge, Hiller Moore. There goes our friendly reminder that they're always recording us. Hi ma'am, how are you? I wanted to speak to somebody at the district attorney's office uh, regarding an assault by two constables. Okay. Um... It happened yesterday. Who is who is out right now? The duty section. The section that's on duty there and call out. What does and that mean? There's no one here right now to speak to you that's on duty. What is what does call out mean? Uh probably with the jail. Oh, okay, so they're not here? No. Can I can I come back later? Uh, Will they be here try. later? You can try. I don't know what their you know, the rest of the day have, if they got court or whatever. But you're welcome to. Okay. There, so there's nobody here from the district attorney's office I can speak to regarding a criminal complaint? Well, the duty section is in call out. And usually how it works is whatever section is on duty, they handle all the complaints and whatever else. Can you give me the number that I, I could call that I'd be able to? 225. You want me to speak into the camera? Well, you could just write it down for me if that's okay with you. This is the section that's on duty? Yes. All right, thank you so much, ma'am. And your name so I know who I spoke to? Simone. Simone, thank you, Simone. Appreciate it. All right, guys, so apparently there is nobody from the duty section here at the district attorney's office. What a surprise that I couldn't speak to anybody but um, I will be calling the section two district attorneys to, uh, she gave me this, section two. And uh, hopefully I could set up an appointment to speak with somebody. 
Honestly, guys, I highly doubt it. I'm not exactly optimistic. When things like this happen, they seem to run and hide instead of confront it and do their job and, uh, you know, do the right thing, which is really sad. You know, a crime was com committed right outside this building yesterday and nobody's being held accountable at this point. But, you know, I came all the way out here in a ankle boot to try and speak to somebody and apparently no one wants to help me. Um, I guess we'll just do, do our best. We're gonna head over to the Sheriff's Civil Division where it all started yesterday, where that unidentified deputy was uh, called for backup simply because I was peacefully recording. So we'll see what they have to say over there. I wanna file a complaint against her. So uh, let's go check it out. All right guys, so this is the Sheriff's Civil Division where everything happened yesterday. We're all shoved in this elevator over here. So we're gonna try and get that woman's name who called for backup on me, simply for peacefully recording. And I uh, wanna file a complaint against her because if it wasn't for her escalating the situation, none of this would have happened to me. I wouldn't be walking around in a in a boot right now. So, uh, let's see if we could speak to somebody. Hi, ma'am. Hi. I guess I'll wait for somebody to help me. If anybody does want to help me. I'm just looking to speak to a supervisor. That's all. Yes, ma'am. Captain's on his way? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Hi, Captain. How are you? Frank Bruyette. Nice meeting you. Um, okay. Bruyette. Okay, um, so I had a couple things I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, the first one was, is it the Baton Rouge Sheriff's Department's policy to identify themselves when interacting with a member of the public? The Baton Sheriff's Office? Yeah. Our office, yes. It's, we, your, it's your policy to identify yourself? We normally, where our uniform identifies for us. Yes, yeah. well, some people don't have, um, like, the, de are they considered deputies inside of, in, in there? Everybody on this floor has a uniform. Okay, yeah, so they don't have name, they don't have name tags in there, no. Some do, some don't. Okay. I mean, so, all uh, I'm I, identified as the Spanish Parish Sheriff's Deputy. Okay, gotcha. So, my second question was, is that I was in this uh, deputy yesterday interacted with me while I was um, filming here. I was, uh, I'm a journalist. I was gathering content for a story. And this deputy right here, she wouldn't identify herself to me, but this is the deputy that I had an interaction with. I wanted to find out her name and file a complaint on her so that way you know there could be some accountability because of her actions yesterday this is the reason why I'm, I'm not familiar with that but her supervisor will be here shortly mm -hmm. and you can talk with him if you like so you're uh, not you're I'm not her sure. you're not her I'm supervisor not sure what, I'm sorry you're not her supervisor I am not okay am not. so and her supervisor is coming here to speak yes, with me yes. Fact, okay. Let me give him a call and find out where he's at. Okay. And then I also just wanted to discuss one more thing with you. Sure. Um, that would be, I've tried to press charges on the constables who pushed me down the stairs in front of City Hall. Okay. Um, I filed a complaint, but I'm, I'm, I, I told them I wanted to file charges, but apparently they made an IA complaint. Okay. One of the people, one of the, the um, constables was actually who assaulted me was part of IA. So. I wanted to talk to the sheriff's department. As you are a law enforcement agency, um, I wanted to file a criminal complaint with your office to see if there can be any charges pressed and some I have video of it. I'm obviously injured. I have documentation that I'm injured. Um, so I wanted to see if your, your office would honor their oath to the Constitution and do the right thing and okay. arrest sure. the criminals. Under our, the 
call and contact Baton Rouge City Police. This is actually the city limits. The Sheriff's Office is housed here. We do have jurisdiction, but the city police handles this area. So my recommendation is contact Baton Rouge City Police to make the actual complaint okay. on what had happened. Okay. I'll get that number for you to call on the top of my head, but I can get that for you also. Okay, so the Baton Rouge City Police yes, would have sir. jurisdiction? Oh, absolutely. They're within the city limits right here. Okay. City. Yes, sir. But, you, but technically, the Sheriff's Department does yes, we can, have we, jurisdiction. Uh, but actually, the way we'd like the city police to handle it because it's in the side city limits. Okay, so we I'll try. I will. I yep. will try. I will try the city police first, sure. and then yeah. if, if I can't get any help, the supervisor. thank you. Appreciate it, Captain. Thank you. Three eight nine three thousand. Three eight nine three thousand. Sacks for Baton Rouge City Police. Mm -hmm. Give them information, and they will meet you, or you can meet them. Um, is there? Do you know if their their apartment is far from here? I'm not from around this area. They have precincts everywhere. Okay. Would, if you call them, they have one downtown. They'll dispatch you. They'll dispatch you to here, and just give them a call, and they'll meet you here. Or you can be, there's one, but obviously they don't want to walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand, but. Um, is there anything else? Just just the supervisor? Um, on that, my recommendation is contact our internal affairs office. Mm -hmm. um, let me give you that number also. Are they are they located? They're not, but you can give them a phone call. So there's there's no office for me to go? Um, there's an them? office, but it's out by the airport. Um, by the airport? Know, yes, sir. It's about maybe three or four miles from here. It's not in this building. It's in headquarters. Okay. That number is 389-5000. Okay. Ask for internal affairs and give them the information you have. Mm -hmm. And they'll take it from there. Yeah, I just, you know, obviously she didn't assault me, but mm -hmm. I believe that she needs some sort of reprimand or some sort of additional training on public photography. So, you know, she escalated the situation and well, it turned out the way Well, affairs will handle that. Okay, if they, Captain. If they find warranted, they will take care of that. Okay, Captain. Thank you for your time. Is that it? We're good? Yeah, we're good. Right. Thank you for your time. Anything, let me know. All right. Thank All right. you. All right, guys. So we couldn't get the deputy's name from yesterday. He referred me to internal affairs which is disappointing, but you know, we'll head down to Eternal Affairs by the airport and we'll try and get some accountability there. But I'm gonna be calling the Baton Rouge City Police and trying to file criminal charges against the constables so who assaulted me. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see if the, also I wanna see if the mayor has anything to say about what's happening. So maybe we'll check out the mayor's office, see if they have any comment on the situation. So this is the office of the mayor president. And we're gonna see if they have any comment on the criminal activity that transpired yesterday. So let's see. Hi ma'am, how are you? Okay. Hi, um, so I'm wondering if I wanted to speak to somebody from the mayor's office regarding an incident that happened yesterday okay. and see if the mayor's office had any comment. There is no comments right now. They are aware of it and it is being looked into. That's all that I know of. But there's nobody that can give me any sort of comment or there's... Not right now because they're still in a meeting in reference to it. They're in a meeting right now in reference yes, to it? Yes, sir. Okay. And can I just get your name so I know I spoke My to? My Patricia. Patricia? Thank yes, you, sir. Patricia. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. Have, Have a great day. day. I'll be following back up. If I can... Um, is there a number I can call for like a public uh, relations... Um, sure, it's 225-389-3100. Okay, thank you. I'll be following up. Thanks, Patricia. No Have a great day. Thank you. So apparently the mayor is in a meeting regarding the events, the criminal activity that happened yesterday, and uh, they don't have any comment at this time, but uh, we'll follow up and uh, hopefully they'll have some comment soon. Hopefully they publicly release it. I'll be calling the public relations director and seeing what they have to say because the mayor is the leader of this city and being the leader of the city, she needs to lead and have comment on egregious actions that happen in her city hall, in our city hall. So. Let's hope for the best. Now let's uh, call, go down to the first floor and call the Baton Rouge City Police. Hi, this is probably about the sixth time I've called. I need uniformed officers at City Hall, please. 
I need to file a police report. Hello? What's the address? I do not know. It's Baton Rouge City Hall. I keep getting transferred, hung up on. At this point, you know, I just need you guys to do your job and send out two law enforcement officers here, please. What you need the police for? I want to file a complaint, criminal complaint. You don't have to file a, a criminal complaint by getting the officer out. You can do that over the phone. You can speak to someone over the phone. Ma'am, I would like to. I would like officers to come here. I spoke to the sheriff's department. They said that if I called you, I spoke to the sheriff's department here. They told me they advised me to call you because you have jurisdiction, and that you would send people here to the city hall. Let me let you speak to a supervisor. Hold on. Sean, where are you going to be waiting at? City Hall Lobby. Did you hear me, ma'am? Your name is H or S-E-A? S-E-A. Last name? Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S. Okay, we're going to get somebody out there. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay. Alright guys, so hopefully they send some officers here from the Baton Rouge Police Department because the sheriffs don't want to take action here. They are law enforcement. They do have jurisdiction. They don't want to take action. The constables don't want to take action. What's the point of having all these different law enforcement agencies here getting taxpayer money when they're not doing their job? Completely ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. This guy's a criminal right here. Constable Cartwright. Oh, I'm sorry, not 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 Cartwright. Constable Bell. Forgot he, he lied about his name. Forgot about that. Alright guys, while well, we're waiting for the PD to show up, if they ever do show up, let's give a ring to the state's attorney's office, the number that they gave me. DA's office, how can I help you? Hi sir, how are you? How you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get a hold of somebody who can help me. I was assaulted yesterday by two constables. It's on video, and I have a witness, an independent witness, and I'm trying to press criminal charges. I'm in an, currently in an ankle boot, and you have three law enforcement divisions: the sheriffs, the constables, and the PD, and none of them want to help me enforce the law. So okay, if you if you have a complaint against uh, constables, I, I, what I suggest is either try to do a report with the state police, or you try to do a report with the attorney general's office. Attorney general's office or the state police? Uh, yes. Okay, will do. Okay. And, and 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 your name was sir? My name is Louis. All right, thank you, Louis. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So we're probably gonna have to go to the state police. Hi, how are you? How are you, Cole? Yes, ma'am. How you doing? Hi, I'm, I'm alright. Right, Doc, you just fine. Okay, no problem. Um, can I just get your name and badge number first? Why? You called me, so what's the problem? My name, Officer Perkins, badge number 105. Thank you, appreciate that. 
So I'm here to press um, criminal charges on, on somebody who assaulted me. Okay. Did you talk to the constables? No, the constables are the people who assaulted me. So oh, that's gone. why I called the police department. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just make sure right. Stay right there. Stay right there. Sure. My name is Sean. Sean, do you have your ID on you? I don't have my ID on me. Oh, uh, do I? N I don't have my ID on me, no. Okay, um, Mr. Sean, what's your name and date of birth? Sean what? Spell it. Sean, Sean, S-E-A-N. S-E-A-N. Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S. R-E-Y-E-S. E-S. What's your date of birth? Okay, so what's your complaint? I'm, I wanted to make a criminal complaint for assault. I have it on video. There, there was a witness to the assault, and um, obviously, as you can see here, I, I am injured as a result of that assault that okay. happened yesterday. You saying that the constable Correct. assaulted you? Correct. Constable right. Bell and Internal Affairs, I believe his name was Wright. Okay, so I went down there because you said that a constable officer assaulted you, correct? And I made contact with the constable. And I was notified that the officers that engaged in you yesterday, they are under internal affairs. So with that being said, I can't overturn that investigation. But what I can do is take your complaint, mm -hmm. which this is your file number, mm -hmm. and it's, it relates to your incident. Wow. This is your file number through them, okay? Mm -hmm. Res respectfully, officer, okay. respectfully, officer, um, you're a law enforcement officer. Their internal affairs mm -hmm. is that doesn't mean anything. A, a crime was committed. And that's, have, that's you got the phone number. I have, the but I would like the people who committed the crime arrested. Because if I would have done that, this is some thin blue line. You know, you guys are covering for each other. I don't appreciate that. Because if I would have pushed you, see that you down the stairs. You see that number right there? I understand. Okay. Call in and talk to them. Talk to who? To the chief. But you're a law enforcement officer. You took, a, you took an oath I to uphold. I told you what I can do. Have you a good took, night here. You, you, took, you took an oath to hold, uphold the Constitution, and that's what you're, you're not going to uphold that oath? You're a law enforcement officer. Completely ridiculous. Because he's a constable, if I pushed you down the stairs right now, I'd be arrested, wouldn't I? Or would you just let it go and let me investigate myself? Huh? Would you guys let me investigate myself if I pushed you down the stairs? We're gonna go down to the constable's office in the basement. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up just yet. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. There's no way. Hello. Hi, can I speak to a supervisor, please? Thank you. Yes. Yes. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to speak to a supervisor. Okay, in reference to what, sir? In reference to, in reference to two criminals who aren't being held accountable for, for assaulting me. In reference to that. Okay, you made a report yesterday, right? That's correct, but an internal affairs report is not the route I wanted to go. I made that clear yesterday. I wanted to press charges. Are, are, do, do the laws not affect constables? Are they immune from, from the law? Sir, if you, if you filed a report yesterday, someone would take a look at your report and we'll go from there. Yeah, but an internal affairs investigation is not what I'm looking to do. If I were to push a constable down the stairs, I would have been arrested. Just because they're constables doesn't mean that they're above the law. No one is above the law, ma'am. Yes, sir, I understand that. And as soon as we do our investigation, if we see that someone broke the law, then we'll upgrade it to criminal charges. But we have to do an investigation first. All right, no problem. I'm, I'm gonna go see the uh, Louisiana State Police. So you guys don't want to do anything. What was your name? Constable Williams. Oh, Constable Williams. Good to speak to you again. Yes, Are you, you're you're an elected official, correct, Constable Williams? Yes, I am. 
Okay, great. Good to know. Thank you. Okay, Doc. Have a great day. You too. Let's hope she's not constable for her next term, everybody. If that's how she, uh, that's how she treats the public, covers for her officers, constables, crazy. But, um, well, let's get out of here. There's really uh, nothing else we can do. Constables won't do anything. The police department won't do anything. The sheriffs are the ones that recommended us to the police department. So let's try the sheriffs one more time. Let's get them on record saying that they're not willing to do anything. Mr. Ray. Captain. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm it's doing okay. okay. So I spoke to Captain uh, Brulette, Brule. Yeah, Brie, yeah, he called. Yeah, I spoke to Captain Brule earlier, uh -huh. um, trying to find out the identity of the woman, the deputy who okay. basically, um, you know, escalated this whole situation, because I feel that she should get some, you know, he told me about some it. some train additional training or something on public photography, so that way, because if she never called the other two constables who assaulted me and pushed me down the stairs, none of this would have happened. So. You know, I think she should be held accountable in some in some form or fashion, Captain. Also, okay. so did you do what the captain advised you to do? Um, he told me to go to Internal Affairs. Okay, have you okay. contacted no, Internal I, Affairs? I will be going to Internal Affairs. Okay. I just so wanted to let you everything know. Everything has been turned over today. Okay. And that's where it stands. Okay, great. Okay. And then the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is that I spoke to the other captain, and he had told me that I wanted to press charges against the constables, as you guys are law enforcement officers. Okay, he, Captain Briette told me he explained to you that to call to, to, to uh, call the police department. Did he give you the phone number, friend? I the police came here. I called okay. them. They came here. They're refusing to ref, to enforce the law. Okay. Hold so on. I wanted. Let me let me get something for you because you're gonna have to take that over to Chief's office. Give me just a second. Yeah. No. Right, and sir. I just and Captain, really quick, I just wanted to make sure because as law enforcement, they they blatantly on camera refused to enforce the law. Okay, so on. I want to make sure hold that the sheriff. Just a second. Okay. Let me go write something down for you. So okay. You can give I'll be All right. right All right. So I did two things. Mm -hmm. First thing I did is wrote down three nine two thousand. Mm -hmm. and that's for the chief's office. Okay. The second thing I did is wrote the address down to you. For internal that's, affairs. No, that's their headquarters. That's the police department headquarters. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, and sir. just my last thing is, you are a law enforcement officer, sir. So. I'm, I want to get you on record saying that I want to press charges on the constables who are here. That, we're not, we're not going to do that because it's inside the city limits. So if Captain Briette advised me, he's already explained. You have jurisdiction here, though. He already explained to you if it's inside the city limits, the city police works it. But you have jurisdiction, sir. I understand what you're saying, but did you understand what I just said? But the people inside who have jurisdiction. Inside the city limit here in Baton Rouge, they work it. So, in other words, you're not going to arrest the two gentlemen who, the two individuals, excuse me, who, who assaulted me. I am going to tell you again. Crime that happens inside the city limits of Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge City Police Department, we're working. Okay? Okay. So you're just refusing. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. All right, guys. Well, wanted to get the Sheriff's Department on record saying that they weren't going to enforce the law and do their job. So we're 0 for 3, constables, sheriffs, and the city police who will not honor their oath and do their job. It's actually pretty sad. If this doesn't make you sad for the state of our country, I don't know what will. All right guys, so we're just getting out of the city hall here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And just as I anticipated, we did not get any justice or accountability here today. Three separate law enforcement divisions. Baton Rouge Police Department, Baton Rouge City Constables, and the Baton Rouge Sheriff's Department. Three different law enforcement agencies that did absolutely nothing. Law enforcement agencies that won't enforce the law. Why? because the people who broke the law are one of their own. They hide behind the thin blue line. They believe that they are above the law. If I or you 
were to do what they did, we would be in prison. We would be locked up right now. It's not fair, but the best I can do for you guys is to show you that I'm trying and we, the people together, can work together to hold them accountable and to try and get the justice that we deserve. Also, we tried speaking with the mayor's office to get a comment. They told us that they were in a meeting regarding the situation and that they had no comment at this time. They gave me the phone number for the PR director. So we'll be reaching out to them. Again, I don't have much hope. We also spoke to the district attorney's office. We went to the office and we called them on the phone. They were of no use. Apparently they were out of the building. Go figure. As well as when I called them, they told me to try the, the Louisiana State Police. So maybe tomorrow, I'll go try the Louisiana State Police, try and get some justice and accountability here. Again, I highly doubt it. It's really tough doing this, guys. But I truly appreciate all your support. With your support, I can do anything. We can do anything together. I really appreciate you guys. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.